Okay, let's talk about another special form of differential equation, and we're still going to use a substitution to solve. It is the equation in the form of dy dx is equal to g as a function of ax plus by. If this is the situation that we have, we are going to let v as our new variable to be ax plus by. That's the input right here. And here I have the example to demonstrate how it works. So as you can see, right here for this equation, the dy dx is not isolated yet. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let me just put down dy dx on the left hand side. This will be put this and that onto the right hand side, right? So we have positive x squared plus 6xy, and then this is plus 9y squared. That's what we have. However, as you can see, this it's not really in the form of a function in terms of ax plus by yet. And what can we do right here? Well, the good thing right here is that, notice we have x squared plus 6xy plus 9y squared. We can factor this out, isn't it? This right here is the same as saying x plus 3y, and you square that, isn't it? And you still have the dy dx on the left hand side, and now you see this right here is the input. Therefore, we are going to let our new variable v to be this, x plus 3y. And as usual, we have to take this differential equation, which now is in terms of x and y only. We have to change that into a differential equation to be in terms of x and v. So with that being said, I'm going to differentiate both sides. So we have dv dx, and this will be the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1. And then we add it with the derivative of 3y with respect to x. Well, you know, y is a function of x. So this right here will be 3 dy dx, like this. I shall technically solve for the dy dx so I can plug in, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's isolate the dy dx right here. And let's do a few things in our head. First, I will have to put this and that, right? And I want to minus 1. So we will have dv dx minus 1, like this. However, I should have this 3 right here, but we have to divide everything by 3. So we will have the 1 third, and then minus 1 over 3 instead, like this, okay? Alright, so we'll write this. For the dy dx to be that, we have 1 third, dv dx minus 1 third. The whole thing now, this right here represents the dy dx. And this is equal to, the input here is the v. So we have this is equal to v, and we square that, okay? And usually we don't like fractions in the equation, so let's multiply everything by 3. Therefore, we'll end up with dv dx minus 1, and this will give us 3v squared. And add the 1 on both sides, you see we have dv dx equals to 3v squared plus 1. And now you see, we can just divide 3 v squared on both sides, and we can multiply dx on both sides, right? So on the left-hand side, we'll write it as 1 over 3 v squared plus 1 dv, and this is equal to dx. And we just separate the variables. All the v's and dv's are together, and we have the dx right here. And with that being said, we can go ahead and integrate both sides. To integrate this, I'm going to look at 3 v squared as parentheses, square root of 3 times v, and then square, and then we still have the plus 1 after that, right? 1 over something squared plus 1 for the integral. We know it's going to be inverse tangent, so let's put that down. And the input is square root of 3 times v. But we're doing integral, right? So the derivative of this, square root of 3 times v, is square root of 3. So we have to divide it by square root of 3, which is the same as saying multiply by 1 over square root of 3, like this. That's the integral for that. And this is equal to x. And we put down the constant on the right hand side. So let me put down plus c, and let me just say c1. Because I want to solve for the v, and then at the end I'll get a y. So let's multiply everything by square root of 3. So we will have inverse tangent of square root of 3 times v, and this is going to be square root of 3 times x plus square root of 3 times c1 is just another constant, so let's put on plus c2, and that's what we have, right? And now let's take the original tangent on both sides, so let me just show you guys the work right here. We take the original tangent, 
and be sure both of these are in the original tangent. And now we will have this and that being cancelled here. Square root of 3 times v equals to tangent of square root of 3 times x plus c2, like this. And of course, divide by square root of 3 on both sides, so we get v equals to 1 over square root of 3, regular tangent, and then square root of 3 times x plus c2, like that. Okay, we got the v by itself, but we want the y, right? We have this, so let's go ahead and put that down. v is the same as x plus 3y, so this is equal to 1 over square root of 3 tangent square root of 3 times x plus c2, like this, okay? And seriously, just do a few more things on your own. Just like subtract x on both sides, so you have 3y equals to this, 1 over square root of 3 tangent square root of 3 times x plus c2, and then minus x, right? At the end, divide everything by 3, so you have y, y equals to 1 over 3 square root of 3 in the front, for this term, right? So this is what, you, what we have. Tangent square root of 3 times x plus c2, and then minus x over 3. And we are done. We isolate the y, and this is the final constant, so I'm going to erase the subscript 2, and this is what we have. That's the answer. Cool, huh?